Howdy y'all, this is Red Wolf. I've been out here uh, doing some saw comparisons and it occurs to me that I have not actually done a review video on the saws that I did it on. So I'm going to give this a go and see how she turns out. So uh, first one I'm going to do is my Zven saw. This is the uh, 21 inch backpacker. Here's your uh, actual name and you can see you got your instructions printed right there um, it's a 21 inch blade and it uh, has an aluminum uh, I don't know what to call this uh, frame yeah so it has an aluminum frame that's in two pieces when you pull it off and I'll show all this in a minute when you pull it off the blade goes down into this arm like a sheath and this slides into the red one and the uh, bolt comes out the bottom so you can tighten it up and lock it in there so when packing it's just the size of this um, anytime I'm carrying a real backpack I carry this in it instead of uh, some other stuff especially if I have a multi-tool with a little saw on it for the little tiny stuff um, or uh, depending upon what I'm going out to do I'll just slide it in a bedroll um, you know, if I'm just carrying haversack or my EDC, I'll just slip it in a bedroll in case something gets uh, more serious than I expected. I've got a solid tool to do a lot of work really efficiently. Um, I'll give you all a quick little cutting demonstration. Um, now that I've seen how good these are going to cut, I don't mind doing this on camera. So, uh, you also have your... Uh, where the blade stops right here because I keep forgetting this really cool feature you've got what used to be kind of a standard thing that you don't see very often anymore you got your extra handle here and that's so that when you're uh, bucking which is cutting logs to length usually for firewood or for construction you've got two hands and that helps you in both your accuracy and your power and it makes the whole thing really efficient so I'm going to cut this right fast I think I've got the camera still in a good spot and I'll just show you some of what she can do. See, that's a good, I mean, so here's a good size chunk. I cut through it long ways, and it's really clean, smooth cut. I wonder if I can, if I can make something out of that. But uh, really good, really efficient. It does uh, a lot of the work for you. I really, uh, really appreciate that. Always impressed by this thing. So disassembly right fast. It's got a uh, wing nut back here to get you a real good grip. And it pops out of a slot right here uh, to make sure your blade's facing on. And you can tension your uh, blade with this to make sure you get it where you want it. And there she blows. Always uh, nice to mess up on camera. But it just slides in really conveniently in there and uh, and I haven't done anything to oil this today or anything I've been using it and I want to just see how it worked uh, without uh, doing anything to make it easier on myself okay so way down in here you can see some lips down here at the bottom and this slides in until it nestles on that you gotta kinda wiggle the bolt around a little bit to make sure it doesn't get hung And you just tighten her up. And as always, you're going to do it the slowest you've ever done it in your life. When you're on camera trying to talk to an audience, they're going to be up for the next 200 years. Alright, so she just twists up right there. And it's snug. It's not going anywhere. Really, really convenient tool. It's like 21, 22 inches overall. Um would highly recommend 
Till next time, this is Red Wolf signing off. Y'all keep up the good fight.